In this video, we're going to cover how to set up basic access levels in the eMERGE Professional. I've already logged into our professional demo unit and I've gone into our administrative setup tab. Underneath access control, we have access levels. I will click on that within my browser. I have a few standard ones that already exist here that we've created, but I'm going to add a new one. So I'll click add right below and give it a name of some kind. Daytime, employees, and a description. Next, I can select the readers. If I've already pre-configured the reader groups, I can select them from the drop-down here by clicking on the radio button, or I can select the individual reader if that's what I choose. You can check out one of our other videos on how to set up reader groups. In this case, I'm going to just give one individual access reader. The time spec is selected from our pre-configured time spec options. We have a separate video for time spec if you haven't seen that already or need assistance. You can certainly check that out. In this case, I'm going to select the 8 to 4 p.m. for visitor hours. If you have alarm panel integration with other systems, you can select that here. Next, we can select our events. These are events that are triggered on valid access at the reader group or the individual group that we have selected above. These events are pre-configured, but you would most importantly have to go to the events section to set up any events that you would like to have happen. For instance, in this case, I would like to have a specific type of access granted event on this door. I've already pre-configured this event, so you can check out the video on how to set up events in one of our other videos for double swiping cards. If somebody presents their card twice, you can set it up to enable and unlock time. You have it, if you have it set up automatically for one or two hours, it can be that or just a few minutes, whatever you prefer it to be. That way, if somebody needed to get into the door and leave it open for several periods of time, they would have they would be able to do so here. So for instance, we're going to give somebody one hour double swipe free access on that door. Once we save that, we'll see that we have a default access for the daytime employees as we've created here. The next step will be to assign users to this access level or assign it to the existing users.